A former Colville police officer is now the subject of a child rape investigation. Court documents say 43-year-old Scott Arms sexually assaulted a middle school age girl while they watched the Seahawks game back in January. And KXY Force Kylie Crew is live in the studio tonight with what Arms is telling investigators. Kylie? And Nadine, when investigators interviewed Arm, he denied any wrongdoing with the girl. A court documents say Arms wasn't sure about the allegations, but knew they had something to do with unwanted touching. Now, Arms was recently the investigator in the case of two Colville fifth graders accused of threatening to rape and kill a classmate last year. Now, he resigned from the police department last week, and now this former investigator is at the center of his own investigation. Now, according to court documents, the alleged victim told her counselor Arms was sexually assaulted her in January, but that she didn't come forward because she was, quote, very fearful and did not know what to do, especially since Arms was a police officer. Now, she says she came forward now because Arms was quitting his job in Colville and would be moving to Wenatchee where she lives. Now, Arms told police he has a good relationship with the girl and when asked why he thought she would make these allegations, Arms says it was because, quote, she had a crush on me. Now, the alleged victim's mother, who has a personal relationship with Arms, told police she believes her daughter is making up the allegations. But court documents cite several people saying if she said it happened, then it happened. Now, Arms was booked into jail on a first-degree child rape charge but posted bond and was released late last night or early this morning. Now he's been ordered to stay away from the alleged victim and he'll be back in court to enter a plea on May 19th. In the studio tonight, Kylie Cruz, KXL My 4 News. Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians, but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now, when we think of police officers, we think of protectors, people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight and accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.